the main objective of the program being for them to raise their musical skills to a point where they can get noticed in the industry, but also to have the business skills and the technical skills, the technology skills, so that they can keep as much money in their own pocket as they can. The program is about one-third music courses and one-third technology and standard college courses like communications courses and stuff like that, and one-third business courses. And I think the thing that sets the program apart a little from others is that we have that heavy component in business because we view the musicians as truly as entrepreneurs. They sing for their supper. If they work, they make money. So there's a big focus on that. We try to tie the business aspect into everything that they do. There's a big focus on live performance and songwriting and music theory, and music history and stuff like that. Of course, uh, they do courses in traditional music and courses in pop music and instruments and those kind of courses. The business courses are more like human relations and public relations and special events management and marketing and all that kind of stuff. There are students that come in and think they're going to play their guitar and then write songs and get a diploma and that's certainly not the case and we stress that uh, right out of the gate. All the, the students coming into the music industry and performance program have to do an audition to get in and a jury to get out to graduate. So they do understand that there's a high standard upon entry. They have to qualify to get in. But a lot of them do arrive thinking that they're going to be in the studio with headphones on and they're going to be writing songs and doing all that kind of stuff and that's all they're going to do. And sometimes they kind of buck a little bit at the business courses and the standard college courses and those kind of things. But they very quickly get in the groove. 